Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my fall morning routine. Just an updated look at the products I'm using and basically my, as I'm calling it, my mom makeup, even though it has nothing to do with being a mom. This is just when I'm in the mood to put on makeup, what I can get done in a very short amount of time. Just a look into how things go around here in the mornings now that we have a little Milo and yeah, just wanted to share. So let's go ahead and get into the morning routine. A very big thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of the video. You guys know that I love love Ana Luisa. I am an ambassador for them and I couldn't be more thrilled because I truly love their jewelry. Something as simple as accessorizing in the morning makes me feel like more of a human, more of myself in these tired newborn times. So I'm always reaching into my little jewelry earring box for a different earring combo for the day. I recently got these new Mali ear climbers. I am obsessed with them. I love to pair them with the mini love knot in the front hole and then the ear climber in the back hole. You could also just put the Mali ear climber in your front hole and just let it climb up your ear. I love this look so much. I'm so into ear climbers, so I was so excited to see they came out with one. And I've just been loving stacking earrings. I just think it's so fun to pick different combos for the day. I've told you guys it makes me want more piercings, but I'm too scared, but maybe I'll do it. <laughs> I love the mini classic pearls. I love the mini Ashley Huggies. I love the Cassie Huggies. I love so many different pairs of earrings from them. I love their rings. Everything is phenomenal. They make adorable, dainty, great quality jewelry while being a really responsible jewelry brand. They are carbon neutral. They use recycled packaging. They use noble metals. They have super cute new releases and there's something for every style. So I definitely recommend checking them out. They are currently running their biggest sale of the year, which is 20% off their entire website. So run and go check out all the cute stuff they have. I will have a direct link to their website down below and the coupon will automatically work. And thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. I truly love all my pieces from them, so be sure to check them out. So of course we start the morning with baby Milo. I get him out of his snoo when he wakes up. I feed him, I cuddle with him, we lay down and we play. He likes to scream in the morning and by scream it's more of like a talking, singing scream. It's really funny. Um, this is his army green man onesie that I love. I got this at Nordstrom Rack and I think it's on their website. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. But it reminded me of Toy Story, so I love it. So we hang out in the bed until we're ready to go downstairs. Then we make some breakfast. I have had a huge sweet tooth lately and I've been, we both have been loving, me and Bradley, this, I just made a total mess, <laughs> this Trader Joe's pancake mix. It is so easy to just whip up some pancake batter and it tastes great. We make a half batch of the smallest batch they show on the back of the box. Um, and that usually makes about four pancakes, which is perfect, we each get two. Um, and they are just so delicious. So we don't do this every morning, but we have been doing it like two times a week. So that's a little naughty. I have a vlog coming out where I do it again in that video. Um, or maybe it's already out. I don't know the order of things going up, but they're delicious. If you are a Trader Joe's shopper and you haven't tried their pancake mix, definitely try it. It's so easy and so good. So and then we just have our breakfast of our pancakes and eggs. I cut up some strawberries. Um, we also just switched recently to the Costco organic maple syrup. It's incredible, it really tastes great, and it's obviously cheaper. Um, so yeah, we just enjoyed our breakfast. Milo hung out in his swing next to us, and then it was shower time. I washed my face with my favorite lately, Josie Marin Pineapple Enzyme Pore Clearing Cleanser. I love this stuff, I'm on my second bottle. It's my new fave, and I washed my body with this Al Alifia, I'm not sure how to say it, Everyday Shea Passion Fruit Body Wash. It's my new favorite. It smells really good, and it's really clean ingredients. Then I got dressed in one of my favorite Target dresses. I'm putting on my Paisley ring, my Haley ring, and then I'm putting on those Mally ear climbers, like I said, and the Love Knot, the like little gold knot earring in the front hole. I can link my dress and all of these pieces down below, but yeah, I love this combo lately. Those ear climbers are just the perfect length. They're not too big, 
they're just the best. I love them. And like I said, even if I'm not wearing makeup for the day, I just slap in some earrings and some hair accessories and I feel like myself. I'm going to use some lip scrub from Lush. This is the trick or treat one from the Halloween collection. It tastes like sour lime. Which at first I was like, oh, I'm not going to like that, but I actually really do. It tastes great. Um, and recently I threw out all my other lip scrubs because they were like old and I was like, that's disgusting. So I got a new one and it's nice to have a nice fluffy fresh one. So I did that on my really dry lips. They're just, they've been so dry lately. I'm brushing my teeth with my favorite Colgate toothpaste. And I've been trying this native deodorant. I actually do really like it. It's the Jasmine and Cedar. I was using some other scents during pregnancy and then they started to bother me, but this one is newer and I love the way it smells. It smells really good. I love Jasmine. So I'm just slapping that on. Then I'm putting on some of the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil Face Butter. I'm obsessed with this stuff. It's almost out and well, now it is out. Uh, spoiler alert, I used up the whole thing. It'll be in my next empties video, but I love this stuff and I'm definitely going to repurchase it. They sent this to me, but I would repurchase it with my own money. It is amazing. So I'm just putting that all over my face. I also recently just got a comment from one of you guys saying that you love watching me put on lotion, which I think is so sweet because every time I'm editing, I'm like, can't you make better faces as you're putting on lotion or I feel like I take too long, but that made me feel better about <laughs> every time I edit myself putting on lotion, I'm like, geez, that was hard to watch, but apparently you feel differently. Going in with some good old Aquaphor for my lips. It's still the only thing I'm really using as far as like chapstick goes. It just is really thick and nice and pretty good ingredients, no preservatives or fragrance or anything. Then I am going to apply a little bit of SPF, my favorite, the Tula Protect and Glow cream. It has a little bit of a sheen, a shine to it. Not like, I don't want to say like a glitter, but it is a little bit of a shimmer. It's really, really nice. But I use this all of pregnancy because Tula has mostly pregnancy safe products. So I'm just carrying that over after pregnancy. I really, really like it. It's really moisturizing, but also protecting and adds a little bit of glow, which I love. And it smells really good. And now I have a visitor. I love when he's somewhere else and he just comes to sit with me. It makes my whole life. Um, but now I'm gonna take down my hair. I've mentioned this in other videos, but I'm really only washing my hair once a week, which judge me if you will. Oh, bye buddy. <laughs> um, but I usually wash them, wash it, them, my hairs. <laughs> and I think like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, somewhere around there. And then I curl it the next day. And then I just kind of let it do, it, let it do its thing for the rest of the week. Oh, we got a creeper watching again. Um, and it usually holds some sort of curl. I actually have also gotten my hair cut since this video, thank goodness. My hair, I'm enjoying the length, but it was just too long and too thick. Um, so I am just kind of combing it out with my fingers and putting a little bit of my favorite oil, the BioSilk Silk Therapy Original Oil in my hair. It smells so good, but it also just kind of reactivates just, I don't know, like any curl I may have had, it tames the frizz. I love putting oil in my hair and I don't know what my dog is doing. <laughs> He's just living life. So I run the oil all the way through my hair and then I am taking a little hairpin. I got this one in a pack from Anthropology a while ago, but it's one of my favorites. I love the way it looks, but it also holds my hair really well. I wear this one like pretty much every day. And yeah, I'm just messing with my hair till it's a place where I like it and we're good to go. Then Bradley and I are making the bed. We haven't had a bedspread as I've been talking about this bedspread nonstop if you've been watching my other videos, but we got a new one from, I almost said Trader Joe's, nope, from Anthropology. I will link it down below. We bought it when it was on sale. I am loving it. And it's just been nice to make the bed again. And so here we are, happy couple that just made their bed. <laughs> Then it was time to change Milo's clothes for the day. I usually, usually leave him in his PJs through his first morning nap and then I change him around like 10 or 11. And he wore his cute moose and fox jumper today. And raccoons, there's a whole bunch of things on there, I don't know. Then I went into my office where I would eventually be working if I am working on that day, but I was doing my makeup for this video so I wanted to diffuse some oils. So I put in some Valor. I have missed diffusing oils so much. I didn't do it during pregnancy because I didn't want to ruin my favorite smells. So I just avoided them until I like needed them for um, calmness in the third trimester. But I am putting Valor in my diffuser. I love this diffuser. It's called the Lucia diffuser. It's beautiful. I um, mean, I just put it on the rainbow setting and it's nice and relaxing and obviously smells really good. And then it's time to get into the makeup. So these are the products that I've been reaching for pretty much since I gave birth. This is the Maybelline Perfector 4-in-1 foundation situation. The packaging is kind of messy, but it's also really, really fun. So just keep that in mind. But it's one of those twist up things and it has that big like sponge head and the product comes out of the top and then you just draw it on your face. It's so fun. This is a really good color match for like the 
skin on my face, but my face doesn't always match my neck just because I have a lot of freckles. Um, so I do find that I have to bring it down the neck to make it like look, you know, blended in. I am taking my apparently hairy Morphe Flawless Beauty Sponge and I am just going to pounce that into my skin. I really love the finish of this. Um, I don't really need powder anywhere. I do powder my under eyes just because that will always crease, but I love the finish, the feel. It just isn't too much coverage, but it still is enough coverage that you're like, why did I put that on? You know what I mean? Then depending on the day, I'll put on some under eye concealer. This is my Nude Sticks Nude Fix Creamy Concealer. I love this stuff. It doesn't really crease under my eyes compared to other formulas so I really do enjoy this. I like the color match as well. I love nude sticks. You guys know that I've been talking about them for a while. Um, I'm in, I don't remember what color I'm in. I will have it linked in the bar down below but I do love this concealer and I just use, I, I don't know why I don't use the thinner end to blend that in what, like you're supposed to but I just use the fat end and then I just blend that in all over my face. And then my lips were dry again, so I'm putting on some of my Laneige Lip Glowy Balm, which I am pretty much out of. I just squeeze the crap out of it to get some out every day. I just need to buy a new one. Then I'm going in with the Nudies from Nude Sticks Cream Bronzer in Bondi Bay, I think is what it's called. Again, I will have everything linked down below. But this is my like favorite cream bronzer I think I've ever tried because it just doesn't move. It's Even though it's a cream, you blend it out. It blends out really, really nicely. I didn't speed it up too much so that you could see how quickly and nicely it blends out. Well, this isn't sped up at all yet. There we go, now we're sped up. <laughs> but it just blends out really, really nicely like a dream. And I do like to layer it with another bronzer just because I'm being extra, but I don't have to. It doesn't move, it doesn't like get blotchy or crease. But I do like to go in with the Physician's Formula Butter Donut Bronzer. I am loving the shade of this right now. It's a really like cooler toned bronzer, so it's perfect for the fall winter. And I'm just using this Morphe brush that I love and I'm just gonna put that on top. I've been loving this bronzer. For some reason, I love this combo. I don't know why I use both, but I do. You know, I have no rhyme or reason. I just like the way it looks. So I'm putting that all over my face and then I am gonna take a Luxie crease brush. Oh wait, first I forgot to set my eyes. So I'm just taking a little bit of that, um, I think it's the Marc Jacobs Coconut Setting Powder and just setting a little underneath my eyes and on top. And then I am taking just that same bronzer and my Luxie blending brush and putting some in the crease to define my eyes and also just to make sure that my concealer doesn't crease. It will always crease on the top of my eyelids just because that's how my eyelids work. So I like to put some powder in there. Then I'm using the only blush I've used for like the last year. It's the Physicians Formula Natural Defense Multi Color Stick. I'm not even sure what color this is. I'll have it linked down below. I love it. I have a couple colors. I think they make four different ones. I don't know why I don't own all four, but I just use this pink one over and over again. It is the best cream blush I have ever used. I just stipple it onto my face, or I put it on my face and I stipple it on with this stipple brush and it stays in place, it's the best color, it's great in the heat. I just, I absolutely love it. So I'm putting that on and I blend it out and then I'm putting on some highlighter. I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury Gold Bar Highlight. They don't make this anymore, but they do have a palette that I think has this shade in it. So I will link it down below. I actually want the palette. Maybe I'll put it on my Christmas list, but I'm also using my Real Techniques setting brush and I'm just going to highlight pretty much all over my face. I like to do the top on my cheekbones, down my nose, the bridge of my nose. Well, wait, that was the same thing. The tip of my nose is what I meant to say. I like to put it on my eyelids because I find that between the bronzer and then the little shimmer on my the center of my eyelids. It looks like I worked much harder than I actually did and I love it. My Cupid's bow, I just like to shine. And I like this one because Charlotte Tilbury products are never really like too in your face, but they're always really nice. So I love that highlight. I just got this amazing new eyelash curler from Tweezerman. I love it. My other one broke while on my eyeball. It was really, really scary. Um, but I got that one and I'm loving it. I'm going in with the Bambi Eye Mascara. I love the stuff. I use the black brown shade and that takes me about five hours, so I'll speed that up for you. Then my brows have not changed. I'm still using the same Benefit Gimme Brow. I use the shade three. I love this product so much. I can't even tell you, I repurchase it all the time. It has this really tiny little spoolie that makes it easy. It adds color and fiber to your brow to make them look just more full and filled in and I, absolutely love it. The difference between before and after, you'll see in a second from the one brow to the other, is just so powerful and 
it barely takes any effort, so I love it. However, I do have pretty like bushy or fluffy eyebrows and this is not enough hold for me, so I do always go in with my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter and I put that to keep them in place all day. And then that is pretty much it. I do like to go in with one more coat of mascara. I give them a quick little curl. Do this carefully just because they already have mascara on it, but it's not that big of a deal. But I do like to curl them a little bit more and then add some more of that Bambi Eye mascara. And then that is it. I am going to finish up with some MAC Fix Plus in the rose scent. I love this stuff. I love Fix Plus in any scent, but I just like the rose. And so I am setting my makeup. I'm going to fix my little hair clip because I used it to pin my hair back a little bit more. And yeah, that is pretty much my go-to, not every day, because I don't wear makeup every day, just the days I feel like it. Um, but then I always go out and water my garden. My tomatoes and peppers are still doing okay, because we still have some hot days here in California. Um, I did do a reels on our fall garden on my Instagram if you want to see that. Ludo was being very funny and he decided he cared about trying to catch the water from the hose in his mouth. This is not something he does every day, but it was really funny. See, he's so cute. I can't deal with it. Um, but yeah, I definitely go out and water my seedlings in that first bed and then my tomatoes and peppers in the second bed. In the third bed, I have potatoes, which are actually growing. I cannot believe it. I am so excited. Um, but yeah, I go out and water my garden, of course. <music> also mentioned this in my latest vlog if it's up already but this is my little snake baby as I call him it's a lime caterpillar it's gonna be a, a butterfly but he's really scary but really really cool um, so yeah oh and this was Ludo after he was all wet in the hose I thought it was really funny so yeah guys that is it for my fall morning routine I hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said I will have all the products I talked about and used and everything you saw that I can link linked down below. I love you guys. I did do a fall nighttime routine, so I will link that up in the corner and down below if you want to watch that. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. Again, that link will be down below. You can click it and get the 20% off their entire site. But okay, I love you guys so much. I will see you very soon with some new videos. I will have my face to subscribe if you'd like to and some more videos you might enjoy watching. You can just click on the screen. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon and I hope you have a great day. Bye.